Hey folks, welcome back. So we're gonna go flying today. It is currently two degrees outside in Orange County, New York, very cold. We're gonna to go to Bradford, Pennsylvania, November 2-7. Uh, there's a bunch of us going over there. Uh, there's actually planes taking off. Um, we don't care, we fly in a cold here in New York. Uh, so we're gonna do a nice flight there, about a 99 nautical mile trip. Uh, so it's nice um, time to exercise the plane that's been sitting for a little bit and she is nice and toasty we got the as you guys know from before uh, the nice engine heating system in this plane and I also have a little heater inside the plane it keeps it really nice and toasty I don't have to come here and preheat for like 45 minutes to an hour especially when it's you know one degree out or zero like it was this morning driving here it's going to take you a good hour plus to preheat your plane uh, with a propane tank that's tied down outside or you don't have a system like that. So it's, you live in the Northeast, it's very nice to have a system like that. So all I do is I pull the plane out and the plane is basically at 109 degrees already in the engine and the oil, which is awesome. So we will see you guys in the airplane. Stick around and enjoy the flight. And waiting for Kevin, I believe, who might be doing a formation flight out there. So stick around, enjoy the fun. See you in the cockpit. Orange County, jurisdiction, Angela, left base, runway 4. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Man, it's cold this morning. Very cold this morning. Uh, it is... Uh, what is it outside? Nine degrees. Oh, pretty cold day. It's gonna be flying. We're gonna go to... There's Stitch and Angel at final runway to four. Did you go? Orange County traffic, Skaha Cup, 789, Papa Fox, 10 miles to south of Australian uh, runway 4, Orange County. Uh, that sounds a little choppy, that, uh, that, this side, again, some issues with this side here, with the, uh... Anyway, we're going to fly... Uh, to... Bradford, to Pennsylvania. November 2-7. Okay, traffic. I would not do the early mouth hold for four off. I might just actually uh, get rid of, rid of this audio here. I think that's the audio cable there. Oh, we're good. So November 2-7, I believe it is. Uh, man, we're gonna have uh, a couple of guys go. Uh, Kevin is up here. Uh, just a little bit of formation, maybe. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I feel like I gained like 50 pounds because I got layers plus this bubble jacket. And it's like, man, trying to get the seatbelt on when you have your jacket on and, and uh, sweaters. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I just gained 50 pounds. I get the weather here in Orange County. New York. Automated weather observation. One okay, traffic 7920 is alpha lining up for one way. Visibility one zero. Oh. Hey Joe. Hey Joe, what's up? Oh, that's kind of traffic. Where are you uh, going? Going to November 27, Bradford, uh, PA. Final. Oh, is that where uh, Rich is going and the rest of the guys? Yes, correct. Oh, okay. All right. So me and Lil probably, I, I can't go that far. Me and Lil probably just jump over to the other camera or something. All right, no problem. All right, brother. Hey, buddy, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Yeah, yeah bye. That's, that's Rich. In my last video, I, I tried to edit out some of the swearing, but boy, I missed a couple. I'm sorry. <laughs> here's Kevin's uh, tiger in front of us here. What's up, Kevin? Okay, so we're going to go to November 2-7, so let's put that in here. Uh, November 2-7, uh, enter, we'll just activate the flight plan. There it is, we're going to go... Uh, Kev, uh, 4.5? 
Hey, can't hear me or something. I can't hear him. Runway four zero four one. Remarks. Density altitude. All right, three zero four one. Three thousand five hundred. Orange County Say Airport, something. Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation. One five two four. Okay, zero. traffic. I'm not too early enough. I'll left cross the four. four. One zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature checklist time. I don't got a traffic to start. Good back, you guys. I have a minus three miles final runway four. Altimeter three zero four one. Okay, checklist is complete there. Radio check. Chris, you're flying radio check. Oh, it's got a classic, uh, All right, go to full screen. Fox, Strat, it's one mile final. 99, exactly, 99 nautical miles away. Stop taxi back for part of water, Coach Gunny. I'm ready, Kevin, when you are. Then I'm going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in here. All right, copy that. Okay, so let's attach you to 4. We got a guy on final, looks like, you know, 172. Yeah, we'll do a formation takeoff. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, you go first, then. I'll follow your lead. Okay. I'll get the left side, you get the right side. Orange County <laughs> traffic. <coughs> okay. Base on way four. All set, Orange County traffic, Skyhawk 7 and 9, Papa Fox, short final runway 4, Orange County. Okay, fuel pump not yet. Kev? Welcome aboard, folks. <laughs> Orange County Automated Advisory. Please stand by. Thank God. All right. Reason four today, and the heading is going to be. Traffic. Anybody based the final runway four, Orange County? We are based the final series two two nine Juliet. We're about to turn final in a few seconds. Got you, sir. Thank you. Two nine one. Two nine one. I'm going to wait for you. Okay, just waiting for some traffic, and here he is, dine on screen. He's uh, left base to final. Lining, lining up Pushing four. Traffic, I'm nine two zero Lima Alpha, left base four Orange County. You know, when you're flying in a cold, it's nice to have these little extras, like the carb temp. The cylinders would be nice. Orange County traffic, moving six eight eight seven. Remember, lining up left side runway four Orange County. Alright, mixture is full rich. Orange County, Sierra City, Orange County, turn left, crosswind runway 4. Orange County, Archer 8237 Bravo, 9 to the northeast, inbound for runway Still 4. Still pumps coming on. To the left downwind. We rotate at 60. Orange County, Sirius 2 to left down in runway 4. Orange County traffic, Diamond 920, Lima Alpha, clear 4, Orange County. Orange County traffic, Mini 68, so number departing runway 4, flight 2, Orange County. Traffic, 5 o'clock, low, less than 1 mile, level. Alright, gears up, flaps up. Woo. Look at the ground, man, you see the shadow. It's awesome. Traffic, 4 o'clock, low, less than 1 mile, level. I'm going to make a left turn at 1,200. 1,200 left turn. Orange County track, we left cross one four, play two, Orange County. Orange County traffic, Skyhawk 7 and 9, Papa Fox, taking off runway 4 for left close traffic, Orange County. Orange 
Mark 9 traffic, quite a two department pattern to the west, 100 to 1,800, see it. Hey, Kevin, we're going to 12345. Yeah, those low clouds are a lot closer than I thought. Yeah, I hope it's a slow mover. Well, I looked at the weather. I studied it all the way out to about 5 o'clock. We might have to come back in about... Tango Echo on. I'm on. I'm going to go to heading of uh, 290. I can deal with that. Up on my screen, you're 10 miles in front of me. It was a cool takeoff, bro. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna, you want to come up my left side? Um, the camera's on that side. Hi. Behind you. All right, I'm gonna go to four. I'm gonna go to 4,500. 500. Check. Okay, fuel pump come off, landing light come off. All right, nice takeoff. All righty, we're climbing 500 feet ish a minute. Welcome back, guys. It's been a, a really busy December for me. Um, and the last time I flew was with uh, Joe a couple days ago. Uh, that video is out of uh, Blairstown. Uh, but work's been busy. The weather's been uh, crazy. And um, I have my IFR ticket, as you guys know. I don't mind flying in the clouds, but not in the wintertime because I don't have no de-icing system on this no, plane. I'm above you, but I lost sight of you. I think you're underneath me. Okay, I'm climbing through 3,700, altimeter 3041. 041, I'm just passing 4200. Copy that. It's a beautiful day. A beautiful, clear, clear day. Level at 45. Copy that, 500 to go. So, yeah, we don't fly an IMC when it's, it's freezing out. Because I don't want the stress of, okay, where am I going to go to get um, uh, warmer air when I'm only going local stuff. And uh, even far away, it's not really worth it. If you're stuck in the clouds for too long, it's not really worth it. I have you on site, Kevin. You're at my 5 o'clock. As long as you got me, bro, I don't see you at all. I got you on ADSP, that's it. I'm sorry, I'm at your, I'm sorry, I'm at your 11 o'clock. Well, that makes a big difference. I see you now, bro. <laughs> sorry about that. It's the opposite for me. All right, pull the, pull the power back. Still love you. <laughs> all right, let's lean around so get some more heat in this bird. Yes, I know, dear. Thank you. Traffic. Four o'clock. Low. Less than one mile. Level. All right, we're looking good there. All right, we're all set. Pull the power back. A little bit. I'm at a heading uh, 300, Kev. 300. We got like a 14 knot crosswind. Well, there he is. Traffic, 5 o'clock, low, less than one mile, level. Let's see if I can get him on this camera here. Might be hard to uh, get him on the other camera. 
Looks like you're setting up to do one of your famous autopilot landings. Uh oh, my battery dead? Sorry, I missed that. I was listening to the ASOS, which wasn't coming in very good from here. Uh oh, battery's yeah, I dead. See you drifting Sorry. Over there. It, uh, looks like you're setting up for an auto landing. Well, yeah, kinda, yep. Yep, winding right up for it. Alright, battery's dead, guys. Sorry. I thought I charged that. I guess I didn't. Looking good, Ken. I'm gonna throttle back a little. Uh, message barometer check, I guess. Yep. I'm good there. Your camera's on your left side. Yeah, you want to, uh, I think I can get behind you and go, come around you. What do you want to do, bro? Let me know. Alright, let's take over to you. Um, yeah, so uh, we've done this a couple times before. Uh, but yeah, beautiful day to fly. Um, and thank you guys for the support last year. I don't know, I didn't look at this camera, hopefully it's on me pretty good. Um, sold a lot of hats, actually sold out of hats, uh, which I'm wearing today. Um, got more in, got a, 150 more in. Um, so we sold out of those. And just try to get track of him. Alright, okay, I'm gonna get behind you and come over to your right side. So now I'll be at your 5 o'clock shortly. Alright, yeah, we'll speed up a little bit. Get some his wake turbulence there. A little bit. A little bumps. This plane, plane is flying beautifully. Beautifully. Alright Kev, come up under 5 o'clock. But the performance of these airplanes in the winter time is amazing. It's simply amazing. I, I don't know how they stay nice and warm, the engine. Uh, I mean, I know they're obviously going to fly in the winter time to the cold, but it is 21 degrees outside. But the wind chill. Yeah, thank you guys for the support, pilotfunnel101.com. I appreciate that. Um, I did fill all the hat orders that were back ordered. I had about 28 uh, of those. They're, you should have gotten those uh, a couple days ago. I'm um, sorry about that. I just all at once, uh, I don't buy a lot because it's expensive to make these. And I make probably a buck or two on each hat so by the time you pay for the hat, you pay for PayPal to do the transaction, you pay for the percentage of that, you pay for the the um, shipping, which in most cases, sometimes shipping is more what do I charge. It's not about all that, it's about just, you know, you guys like the, the merch to, to buy it. So I don't buy a lot, because I don't want to have a thousand dollar bill, you know, that it sits in the hangar when winter is, is over. But, thank you for the support. That goes to the extra couple bucks I make. Um, that all goes to the flying I have and some other stuff that we do at the airport. Um, it goes right back into uh, general aviation. So come up on Kevin. And unfortunately the sun's on that side, so you might not get a good uh, view. Uh, because of the glare. But uh, I keep my camera... There are 20 degrees at 8. I cannot believe, I cannot believe my uh, camera's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna come in back the other way. You know what happened was I left it in the back of the car for a, for a week or two, and I think the cold got to it. Two, what is it? Two three. It's two one. Oh, let's see if I can get Kevin out here. Where's the favorite? Uh, three. I think I'll do three. I'm on my way in anyway. Hey, the sun messes it up. Yeah, twenty degrees at at eight miles an hour. I'm with you, Chris, sorry. All right, gotcha, I'm at your uh, four-ish. You want to turn on course? On course now. Okay. According to my GPS, I'm, I am. And we're going to November 27? Affirmative. Yeah, the heading is 306. We're at 284. Give me too much. 
All right, Bill, I'm switching frequencies. It's all right, I love you. Yeah, my GPS were off course, about uh, 20 degrees. Oh, I didn't have it programmed in. I was like, what the hell's going on? Um, so I just put November 27 in on the uh, NAV-1, and I'm on the and it's going to line up in a moment. Okay. I'm at your 3 o'clock. All right, hey, Chris, is my gear up because my lights are not coming on? <laughs> Now your gear's down. I think they're welded down, too. All right, go figure, man. <laughs> awesome plane that he had. You guys, uh, we've been in his plane before on TikTok and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Beautiful bird, Kev. Hey, Kevin, you on here? Yep, Kevin and Chris are on. Little Cessna is up. We're on our way. Awesome. Yeah, we're about 65 nautical miles away from the destination. Hey, Scott, you got Lieutenant Dan with you? <laughs> yes, I have Lieutenant Dan with me. I may not be a swamp man, but I know something's messed up. Looking good, Kev. This air is very smooth. Ooh, going up. I'm going to go right. Looks nice and clean underneath that bird. I was wondering where you went. I want to check underneath, make sure that gear is going to be going up or not. <laughs> Got passed by a Cessna 150. <laughs> a Cessna 150 is a good, actually good plane. It's yeah, a very a massive turbulence we just hit. It's a very good uh, trainer plane. Get your hours built up. And if honestly, if you like to fly local, there's nothing wrong with that plane. All right, so we're looking good. We'll hit there. Lieutenant Dan, you staying warm? Heat and this Mooney is actually really good. Previous owners, uh, the previous owner uh, did a whole bunch of insulation. I'm going to pull high up and to the uh, left. I want you to get in and I'll circle around. Okay. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Nice, Kev. I'm going to circle around back towards you. It'll give Scott and Dan time to catch up. Copy that. There he is. Uh, we're going to clear the mountains up front of us at 4,500. You guys see the panel. Use this camera that fell off there. You guys see this panel before, obviously, numerous times. Awesome panel. I love it. Uh, the Dynon Skyview HDX gives you so much information. There's their backup. Uh, hard to see. I wish that was a little bit brighter. Um, but it's fine for a backup. IFD 540, awesome, awesome. GPS, nav, everything is there. The graphics are good. Uh, love it. Really, really love it. These are the hard keys. Barometer, alt altitude, um, and your uh, heading. What's nice, the autopilot, I'm praying, praying every day. I go to bed, the hard keys will go here, and the soft keys will be in the system here. Uh, just like, um, you know, engine monitoring page. I uh, just hope Dynon gets that approved by the FAA sooner than later. A lot, a lot of Mooney guys are really waiting for that approval. Um, and there, of course, we got zero CO on all my fuses. I'm set up, you know, I'm really set up for the autopilot. There's all my fuses. Um, so our breakers, or actually not breakers, fuses. And so it's all ready to go. It just needs to get the okay. There is the panel. A little bumpy over the mountains here, the ridges.
Got you 500 feet below, but I don't see you just yet. I know I'm behind you, though. Yep, I have you. Uh, you're about uh, 2.7 miles behind me at my uh, five-ish. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay, I got, I got you on on the box. I'm looking for Scott. Uh, you have to scroll way back to Orange County for that. I'm not picking on. Listen, I'm not picking on the 154 miles from our destination. We're just uh, east of Sullivan County or south of Sullivan County. I am not picking on the 150s. I love the 150s. I've learned in the 150s. I'm just saying, busting jobs like everybody does. You know, I was very, very fortunate at the time of buying this plane. I sold my 770 Mustang. It made, a, made a decent profit. I sold my um, Grumman AA1A for a nice profit. I took those two, sold those two, and bought this. Um, had a little cash left over. Uh, this is why it helped me pay for the panel. Um, but, guys, the fuel where we're going, I think, is 465, uh, less expensive than anywhere around us. Uh, but, that's how I could afford this plane. And, and honestly, I got a great pi price for this plane at the time. We're talking now five years ago. Five years ago, these planes weren't worth what they are today. Um, it seems like the cheaper planes are going up, the expensive planes are coming down a little bit. Um, a lot of people want the, uh, you know, these other planes for maintenance reasons and other reasons and stuff like that. Uh, the maintenance on this plane is very, very friendly. Put it that way. It's just a, the manual gear and the manual flaps helps. Uh, not a lot of moving parts, motors, um, stuff like that. So it's a one, no turbocharged engines, natural aspirated, 180 horse, uh, no fuel injections with. Fuel injection is great to have in icing conditions, obviously, and clouds and all that stuff. Don't worry about carb ice, but a little bit more maintenance if, in case something goes wrong. And I'll dig a clog here and there. Um, so it's pretty much easy maintenance on this airplane. And the previous owner took very, very good care of it. Um, and that's another reason why I, I decided to put the panel in. Also, uh, Moyer Aviation, Kurt over there, uh, Mike Papa Oscar, said, listen, if you put money in the airplane, this is the one. There's no corrosion. It's great. That's why I decided to do this. Dine on Skyview, HDX, folks, I know it's a lot of oil pilots are not approved yet for certifieds. Um, and you know what? The FAA should really stop really picking and picking. It, you know, an autopilot is very safe for the pilots. It's, uh, you know, if you get disoriented, even for IFR certified, okay, and you are in clouds with no autopilot, you can get disoriented. I mean, you got to really focus on your turn and bank and all that stuff, but you still can get disoriented. It's nice to push a button and get you level again. It's just for me, you know. Um, and it's just amazing to me that a non-certified plane, experimental, if you will, can't get anything. Uh, and the certified side, it just takes a very, very, very long time uh, to get anything certified. And I've talked to a lot of my friends. They're almost like they want to be certified their airplanes because it's not worth having a certified plane. So, you know, I, I get both sides of the story, uh, but we also need to start getting this stuff done and approved. Uh, to make a safe environment of flying. And I know, this the old timers will tell me, I, I, I flew stick and rudder and didn't have any of this and didn't have that, the charts and this and that. I get that. But, you know, if the if the if the stuff is out there for GA to buy, it should be available. And if it makes everybody safer and feel more comfortable, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's nice to have even traffic. I mean, I know where Kevin is. I know where direction she's going. I know how high he is. No, um, I'm actually climbing a little bit because my gas is going down. But, uh, you know, it's nice to have that. It's nice, the system, even the iPads, folks. It's, I mean, foreplay. You know, I haven't really used it much because I have this, but it's nice that it calls out traffic. You know where everybody is. As long as you have the ADSB, uh, obviously other planes have to have that. And, again, there's a lot of areas in the United States, probably a majority of it, that you don't even need ADSB. Uh, you don't need a radio. You know, it's a pain in the butt pre-flight and the plane in the cold, but when you're up flying like now, totally worth it. Oh, yeah, I am nice and cozy in here. So, you know, you still got to pay attention to all that stuff, but it's nice to have that extra security and extra heads up. Hey, this, 
This traffic's right here. Where is it? I'm going to start looking for, you know, five miles away or three miles away instead of, you know, oh, there's a plane. Let me let me maneuver now. Just saw it. So, no, that's just me. You know, you, you know me, guys. I'm a very easygoing person. Um, but I just would like need to. I would just like to have that autopilot uh, sooner than later. Everything's looking good. Um, I don't think we're gonna get the. Let me see if I do the weather. If they have the weather there. Uh, they have weather. No weather reported. Comes. Oh, they have AWAS. That's good. Okay. Let's put the AWAS in the standby. So, let me get back down. I keep climbing up a little bit. So we're BFR. Um, good thing is, is that the uh, SL30 down here, the Garmin SL30 that I kept because it's skinny, it's a nice unit, it's another a comm, uh, VOR, and stuff like that, uh, is that you can just tune the comm, and if I hit the tune the comm button right here, it's going to take that and put it down here, so on the standby. That's pretty cool. So, you now you can get out of it, you're done. I mean, you can even click up here, and you can swap them, so now I'm, I have AWAS on. I don't think we get it. Oh, I do get it. Weather advisor. When zero for zero at five knots. Feeling clear. Temperature minus one one degrees Celsius. Ooh, cold. Zero point minus one six degrees Celsius. Relative humidity six three percent. Density altitude missing. Condensation Beautiful. altitude three five hundred feet. Mooney needs to Mooney needs to get on social media. They need to get to the Times. They need to revamp their factories. They need to have investors invest in this company. They need to make an airplane that's not eight hundred thousand dollars. Now they have all the specs. For these ears. So build a mid body. You know, or offer a mid body and a short body. Short bodies are good for training and blah blah blah, or everyday flying. You know, you know, it, it doesn't have to be everything has to be eight hundred thousand to a million dollars, uh, because a lot of people can't afford that. So if it's just like the car business, which I'm in, and it's like, you know, if you if you're if, you, if you're selling. You know, uh, ninety thousand dollar cars all day. You have these people you're only focusing on, okay? But there's a lot more people who would buy the thirty thousand dollar car, the forty thousand dollar car, fifty thousand dollar car, twenty thousand dollar car. So the catering to the small majority with a Mooney, there's other airplanes out there that might be better in different ways and whatever you want to do with your airplane. You know, it's like, let's stop with that. We'll make a couple of those planes, but let's focus on the majority of aviation folks or people like me. You know, and I can't afford 800000 If I want a plane like that much flying around, you buy a brand new one, you're going to lose $100,000 in a year. So, let's re... Hi, uh, Robert Staub is there now. Uh, he just, I just called him. He's getting a table, I, I said about eight, he's getting a table for ten, and he's the gentleman that has the musketeer. Nice, yeah, I'm 18 uh, narco miles out, We're looking at seven minutes. I'm going to start heading downhill, Kev, too. You want to head uphill? All right. <laughs> oh. All right, so I'm uh, 21, I, I, I guess Scott, I'm looking for Scott on the uh, so down a radar bit. here with uh, Lieutenant Dan. Uh, We'll wait for them. I got him on. I got him. 1,500 feet is traffic uh, pattern altitude. In the uh, rain, uh, Ragger intersection. So, if I had a bunch of investors for giving me millions, I would. Okay, get the, let's get the, let's get these old. Let's shake off. You know, all the bugs, all the lint, all the dust off these plans. Let's build the Mooney M20C Ranger. Make it three hundred thousand dollars. Let's push them out. Let's push them out. Let's advertise social media, YouTube, you know, TikTok, whatever you got to do to get it out there. Get it out there. A three hundred thousand dollar plane is doable. You know, for me, it's close, but it's doable if I change some things. If I wanted to do that, I sell this, sell my other car, I can almost be there. 
know, so it's doable. But $800,000 airplanes are kidding to a very, very small amount of people, and that those people have options. Okay, do they spend $800,000 on a Mooney or a million two on something else or whatever? Uh, so, and I'm, um, uh, you know, I know how to promote. I do it for a living. I know all this stuff. I police officer, EMT, uh, private sector. I've done it all, and I understand what goes into it. I understand you need investors to get you going. But once you get going, once you start. It's going to be a huge play in the GA field uh, to get those planes down in price, and you put a simple panel. You can uh, get a video of me landing. Yeah, I'll try to do that. Um, you know, and get the GA to start biting to a simple panel. Um, you know, and let's move these planes, man. Moody is a good company. It's a very safe plane. I think only one in the history of aviation. Uh, it fell apart in the air because a guy went into ter very heavy, heavy thunderstorms, I think. I'm not, don't quote me on that. Look it up. But these planes are very built. They built the wings first, fuselage goes on top of the spar. It's one spar, one smaller spar. It's very safe, uh, like homing engines. Uh, and you got, got the speed, the efficiency. Yeah, it's smaller up and down. But, you know, shoulder to shoulder, that's a regular everyday plane. But it looks small when you sit in it because you're lower to the ground and things are kind of in because it's how it's designed. It's not a tall plane. Uh, so I just wish that would happen and I just wish they would do that. And I'm so happy to have a Mooney and I'm very uh, fortunate to be able to even to fly a Mooney and to be in the GA field. And I just wish they would cater to this much people instead of this much people. Because those people... These people will pay your bills. These people will pay your bills but one airplane a month. It's not really paying your bills. And that's why Mooney has a hard time. There's so much competition out there for that price point. Uh, so, yeah, Mooney, give me a call. Let's work on something. Let's really get it. Let's, let's, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get investors. Let's get it going. All righty. That's why I push, I'm going to talk about Mooney Space for a minute. And that's why I put videos out there for other GA people, for other Mooney people, Dynon people who want to do Dynon, who want to know what I have in a panel, I want to know what I have as a GPS nav, what, you know, what I use, what I do, what's the, what's the website I go to, what do I do, where's my forms I fill out, how do I look if my plane is certified, or can I put this in or not, am I able to, is it certified for this plane? You know, and you know, I put stuff on Mooney Space to, to to get these people to look at it. You know, I get emails back and forth. Hey, what's the link to this? Where do I go for this? What do I do for that? You know, what's the cheapest oil you buy? You know, what's going on? How do you? And I put all that in my videos, and I put it on Mooney Space so guys can go and see. Oh, okay, so he's flying this. Is what all the links are for. And sometimes I get a hard time. I'm like, I'm not selling anything. I'm just trying to help other Mooney pilots. No, I've been here and I got this thing here done that and I want to help other people out. I'm not making any money, folks, if that's what you think. So, you know, I will, you know, just trying to help other Mooney pilots and other pilots in general who go to Mooney Space and go to Mooney Pages and say, oh, look at these Moonies. They're flying this efficiency. They're flying this fast. They're this much in annual. They're this much in insurance. You know, who does all this? What is all this? Where do I go to get it? So uh, that's what I'm doing. Uh, nothing for me. I've done it. I've been here. I've done it already. It's for everybody else. But I do support Mooney Space every year. Great thing. If you have any questions about Mooney's, Mooney's that's the place to go. So I do apologize if um, some members think that I am promoting whatever. Uh, but it's okay. I understand. I'm not mad. Trust me. So anyway, that's my speech on Mooney, corporate, uh, let's, we can do it. So I'm going to go down, we're five miles out. I'm going to go downhill. Bradford Airport, Mooney 680th of November is approximately five miles out to the east, inbound for five. We'll be flying over the field. Bradford. And Bradford traffic, uh, what's the best runway down there? I see some guys using 2-5. Winds are favoring five. 
I'll copy that. Thank you, sir. And Brentford traffic, Mooney be flying over the field for the midfield left downwind five. Brentford. Brentford traffic has his uh, four to the east. Laying light is on. Five, Still pump is on. Sure's Bradford coming County in. Bradford County traffic, 2-7 uniform, clear of the active. Bradford County. And Bradford traffic, Tigers 3 to the east uh, inbound landing, runway 5. Okay, gear can come down. Ooh, that's our speed brakes. Our gear is coming down. We're locked in. And Bradford traffic. Mooney is uh, left downwind. Five being the two, three numbers. Bradford traffic. Bradford traffic. Tag will be passing. Oh, I was. Was I here once before? I think I was here once before. I don't remember. Anyway, that's that's the the gas, right. undercarriage, mixture, we'll put in one, two, looking good. Approaching 1,800 feet. And Bradford traffic, Tigers overhead, 2,000 will be uh, lining up for a uh, 45 downwind, runway 5 has traffic in sight. Good, good, so gas. I checked this gear a hundred times. I know. All right. Bradford traffic. Mooney is turning left base. Five. Bradford. Gas. Under carry. Five hundred. Hit Bradford traffic. Mooney turning final. Five. Full stop. Bradford. And Bradford traffic, uh, Tigers on a left downwind, uh, being the number five, Bradford. Ooh, a little squirrely, a little bit. Perfect, nice turner. The way it looks nice. I was here once before. I was actually here Turning once before. Left base, uh, runway five, Bradford. And Moody's for final five, Bradford. All right, looking for 70. We got 70 knots. Just about. Perfect. All right, gear check. One more time. We're locked. We are good. We got full flaps also. And coming in nice. 64. Perfect. Traffic and traffic power's out. Trying to base the final. Runway 5 has landing traffic inside. All right, bleed it off. Nice. Look at that. Hold up that node. Awesome. All right, that's great. Flying, awesome flight. Thank you guys so much for flying along. I already lost one camera there. And we'll see you on a reverse trip, most likely. It's cold, so I don't know if the cameras are all gonna fall off once we get cold. I have a little heater in here. The final five. So it keeps everything nice and clean. Or warm, I should say. And when you clear, five. Perfect. I'm gonna get gas. I'm gonna get, where's the pump at? Oh, it's over uh, in there. I get gas now and just don't worry about it later. I'm waiting for some other guys. Hey guys, thanks again. Pilotfund101.com if you're looking for some hats, some shirts. I have a new shirt coming out. It'll be coming out soon, which will be really nice and cool. Um, because brakes are set. And you know me, pilotfund101.com. If you have any questions at all, folks, no problem at all. And we'll see you guys in a bit. Again, thanks for flying along. Buy safe and please be safe. Until next time. The camera's rolling. Doing my pre flight. Kevin, where are we going? Come on, we're going to the Savage Restaurant. The airport's over here, we're going to this back gate. Where are you taking me? To murder me? Okay, is this where you killed me back here? Yep. Jeez. Where the hell is this uh, diner?
All right, Kevin, I'm following you. <laughs> I don't know where he's taking me, man. Oh, man. Yeah, just for you. Come on, folks. If you like it, just sure you smash that button now. No, not y'all. No. Don't use a hammer. Look at this place. Right by the airport. Gee, oh, there's a dog. They get attacked now, too. All this for a diner. All this for breakfast. Yes, all this for breakfast. Jeez. At the diner? All right. Man, after all that, we finally made it. I know we're going hiking today, Kev. I just brought my uh, hiking shoes. All right, that's where we're going. <laughs> oh, God, they have live bait here for you. Look at that. Why didn't you open it? It did go. You sure? Now where, you, now, now where are you taking me? I'm exercising my lungs. Now when it's five degrees outside, it's bad for your lungs. I gotta fix this flag. Oh, it's tied up there. Jeez. Cool place.